Welcome Gemini. We're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now using Soul Truth 7 Energies and Energy Oracle cards. Okay, so let's get into it here, Gemini. Three cards for Gemini, please. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, Gemini. First card here. Does my life have room for more pleasure and play? We've also got, am I apologizing for my truth? And from whom can I release my judgment right now? Okay, so in what area are you lacking pleasure right now? Maybe in certain relationships or with work? Is it possible to shift the seriousness of life to experiencing a more creative, wild and playful side of you? Okay, so the action to take here, Gemini. What would happen if you added more play and laughter into your life? What area is lacking this right now? Take time to play. Let go of anything you need to produce anything. Sorry, let go of any need to produce anything. Okay, interesting. Gemini. Tell me more about this for Gemini, about this. Is that one card? Yes, it is. One more card. About this card for Gemini, this pleasure and play. Okay, let me just get this card off the floor. Okay, Gemini. The first card we have here is the Angel of Love beautiful and so I feel like for some of you there's this healing of the heart um, taking place and maybe Gemini this is about self-love loving yourself more right giving yourself more permission to have fun realizing that you are actually worth it you are worth it okay regardless of what anyone else may say you are worth it. Okay, we have the temple path here as well, but I just want to focus on Angel of Love right now. Angel of Love. For some of you, I feel like, because she's looking at this the heart, right, and looking at it in a very compassionate and understanding way. And so this could be about you nurturing your heart. Wow, we've got this. Let it go. Let it go, Gemini. Tell me more about this. Let it go. Cutting the cords. I feel like this is hold, not holding on to something that is not... Actually, what I'm seeing here is the heart wrapped up. It's got a it's got a um a rope around it. It's like it's closed off. Is that what you need to let go here, Gemini? Angel of love. Is it about releasing your heart, opening up your heart for love to come in? Time machine. We've got this time machine here, right? Of going back in time. Healing. Is that what it is? Maybe healing. Letting go the stuff from the past. So that you can move forward. For some of you who might be going through so maybe some a bit of heartache right now, this could be so that that old stuff from the past is released. Hmm. Okay, so we've got the temple path here. This is really interesting because the temple path. Feel like this is you walking up to the temple 
to stand in it, to sit. You remember, remember the um, reading, the royal you, the royal you. I might attach it after this video, at the end of this video, the royal you. And I feel like you, this is you walking up to your temple to take your place in your throne. Tell me more about the temple path for Gemini, please. I've got the call of the music. Call of the music. I feel like this is the music within you that needs to be released here, Gemini. There's this definite closing off, this holding back. From playing your own tune, dancing your own dance. A deep breath. Take a deep breath, Gemini. Just breathe. Sometimes in life, all we have to do is breathe. Right? Take a deep breath. Yeah. Yeah. The next card we have here is... I don't know, I don't feel like I'm finished here, sorry. Um, I want to say about the call of the muse. It's not even the call of the music. Why did I see music? The call of the muse. You see, the muse is the king. And this is on the temple, right? Walking up to the temple, to the king, right? But this is the person who sits in the throne. This is the person who owns the throne. And I feel like this is you. Because I don't feel like the message that has come out here when I thought it said music is exempt. That is still applicable. Um, this is about you really unapologetically living your life. Expressing yourself. Because sometimes, Gemini, when you express yourself, people won't allow you to. And... Or they may judge you for that. Yeah. And so this deep breath here is for you to center yourself. So that you can remain in your throne here. Right? To own you as the, um, the royalty that you are. <laughs> Interesting, interesting. Okay, so am I apologizing for my truth? Gemini. Today, be proud of your truth. Catch yourself when you want to apologize or withhold parts of it. You never know whose life you will change when you're brave enough to speak it. Be the lighthouse that shines on the courage that lives in all of us. This will give others permission to speak their own truth. There is room for us all. Sorry, that was read wrong. There is room for all of us. Today's mantra and every day, Gemini, every day's mantra is courage is contagious. Speak your truth. And the thing is, Gemini, that I understand that in the past when you have spoken your truth, you've been shot down for it. You've been criticised, you've been punished, and you've had it held against you. But keep speaking up, Gemini, because it's your truth. And if people don't like it, or if they misinterpret it, that's their problem. The onus is on them of that, not yours. There's nothing to apologize for. You do not need to apologize for existing, for having the truth, right? You do not need to apologize for that, Gemini, at all. One more card for apologizing for your truth for Gemini, please.
okay, Gemini, when you when you stop apologising for your truth and you stand in your courage, which is contagious, right? This opens the door to romance. This opens up your heart, right? What I was talking about before with the angel of love. A couple of messages came through there. It wasn't a mistake. It wasn't a mistake. Right? We have the door to romance. This is about you uncaging your heart so that you can receive and give. Because it seems like Gemini, often you give more than what you actually receive. And people are willing to take that. You know, they're willing to take that um, from you and not give equal amounts back. You deserve, you deserve Gemini to be on that throne and for people to honour that and to let you speak who you truly are, whether it's, it's, speaking something that is painful or that you perceive as messy and ugly um, you still deserve to have a voice and not have that locked up and caged up because when your voice is caged up and locked up so is your heart right exposed and revealed because when you speak your truth it exposes and reveals the truth for other people. And they don't like that, Gemini. They don't want to hear that, right? Yeah, close encounters. Close encounters. See, this is this being caged up again. This is this lack of transformation, right? But it's kind of like what I find interesting, especially with Door to Romance, is there's this butterfly here. I feel like this is you inside the cage and this butterfly here is outside of the cage waiting for you to, to open, not open the door, well, maybe open the door, but to find the door, right? Yeah. The next card we have here is The Thinking Man. He has these crystals here. And it's like, do you know what? I feel like I need to actually read this part. Let me just get the book here. I need to read this. Why do I need to read it? Interesting. Okay, so where are we? The thinking man. Sorry, Gemini, just being called to do something different here. Okay, the thinking man, 146. Where are we? Okay, Gemini, upright. This card shows a man standing before an archway, gazing at a crystal in his hand. He is a thoughtful and reflective man representing the potential presence of a teacher in your life now or about to arrive soon this person may be there to educate you in the finer details of your chosen direction or may be there to assist you in some specific spiritual mental or emotional pursuits the card is telling you to pay attention for this could lead to great strides in personal or professional growth this man may also be a love interest coming your way or perhaps just a new male friend. But be on the lookout for this guide in the physical world and be open to his information. Learn what you can. A new discipline, techniques, course or of study or healing practice could change your life forever. Now I'm going to read out the reversed because I can't remember if it popped out reversed or not. So just take it how it applies to your life. The thinking man in this position could represent a male in authority who is not acting in your best interests. But this card, reversed, is more about you than about others in your life. This card in this position usually indicates that such learning and growth are actually a part of your own path and you're not heeding the call. You may be destined to be a therapist, teacher, writer, publisher, psychic or healer of some sort. Your soul longs to serve in this capacity, whether professionally 
or just in your personal life, but something seems to be blocking your way. But it's time to break through and move in this direction now. Remember, what you learn during your own growth, you'll be able to share with others, often adding your own compassion and profound personal wisdom. Okay, and the affirmation here is, I am willing to learn new things. It is safe and comfortable for me to open up and share. Okay, great. I'm so glad I listened and read that for you, Gemini, because that was perfect. Okay, so tell me more about the thinking man, please, for Gemini. I don't know how those came out. Two cards for the thinking man for Gemini. Do we need two cards after that explanation? Not necessarily, maybe, or maybe not, the land in between. Yes, see, this is this crossroads in your life, right? And maybe that's why I had to read both, because there's one or the other, right? And you're in the middle here, this land in the middle. It's like, which way do I go? So hopefully that explanation helped you. And the next card here is Uncharted Sea. Yeah, and this is this fear, right? Um, this fear of what is coming, I don't know what to do right but going back to apologizing for your truth here gemini right um whatever it is that is your calling you are meant to do okay so just just know that okay um that these lessons in your life are necessary and they are to help you grow okay so from whom can i release my judgment right now and i just want to say gemini before we even look at this is it yourself have you been judging yourself so much that that's the judgment you need to release. Just a thought. Okay, so judgment closes our heart to truth and separates us from love. It binds us to our fear and holds us in shame. On whom are you placing judgment right now? Is it someone in your life? Is it yourself? Release the shackles, drop the expectations and be grateful for what is the action for you to take Gemini. Look at the person you are judging as if you are looking at a small child. See them learning and growing, falling down and making mistakes. See their desire to be loved and accepted. Add even more grace to open your heart to this truth. When I lift ju judgment from myself and others, I uncover my own truth. I am loved. I am whole. I am limitless. And so are they. Wow, that's so beautiful, especially after talking about your truth, right? I'm going to read that last bit again. When I lift the judgment from myself and others, I uncover my own truth. I am loved. I am whole. I am limitless. And so are they. Yeah, Gemini. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. Okay, so Gemini. Tell me more about judgment for Gemini, please. Tell me more about judgment. Where's that card gone? One more card. Or not. Let me just pick this one up in case there's two. Okay, Gemini, and there was two. So, sorry, getting my cards and I haven't even looked, shown them to you. Man holding a coin. Okay, I feel like, especially with that other, when I read out the meaning um, of the, the thinking man, right? Um, that there's this person there who you can plant things with. It doesn't mean it has to be romantic, you know, um, but it's it's sort of like planting the seed of abundance for yourself. Yeah, abundance in your life. OK, so tell me more about man holding a coin for Gemini. It is what it is. OK, it is what it is, Gemini. And we've got the storyteller. OK, so. I want to talk a little, go back a little bit here, Gemini, about this um, time machine, right, and past hurts, okay, sometimes it's just a matter of kind of going, it is what it is, and it's time to write a new story, it's time to close that chapter, close that book, and write a new story, yeah, 
it's done and dusted. It's up to you to unlock this within yourself, right? Because there's a man holding a coin here. He has this coin to plant. How is he going to nurture it? How is he going to grow it? What does this story look like? Because this is a new beginning. It's a new beginning of abundance, potentially in love, right? What happened here? The doors are closed. It is what it is. Maybe you need to close the door, Gemini. It is what it is. Yeah? Write a new story. Okay? We have adjacent possibilities. And I feel like there is so many more possibilities to um, available to you, Gemini, than what you realize. You may see that there's only maybe one or two. Nah, there's a possibilities that you wouldn't even imagine. There are doors opening for you, Gemini, that you could not believe are possible. Okay? And I feel as though this, where is it here? Courage is contagious. This is important for you to repeat, repeat, repeat. Courage is contagious. Right? Let that be the mantra going on in your mind right now. As a regular thought over and over and over. Okay, so adjacent possibilities. Tell me more about this for Gemini, please. Awesome. Okay, so we've got quietening the mind. We've got smoke and mirrors. And we've got earth magic here. Okay, so this is about you needing to silence this monkey mind. How unusual, Gemini. Gemini with a monkey mind? Never. Gemini, I'm having you on. Well, I'm not because it's the truth, right? <laughs> That's what your mind does, eh, Gemini? The two twins having their little debates. But you know, Gemini, a lot of what you're telling yourself is untrue. Okay, and it's 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 preventing you from seeing things clearly. Okay, and it's presenting sorry, preventing you from seeing the truth about yourself and the power that you hold within, okay? And preventing you from seeing the opportunities available to you and what it is that you can grow and what story you can write, yeah? And I want to say here, use grounding, okay? Connect in, ground yourself and connect in, okay? Quietening your mind and connecting in, you know, as above, so below, right? Here you are, the channel in between to connect the two. Okay, Gemini, understand your power. Understand your worth. Okay? Because regardless of how many people will tell you that you're, you, you know, you're powerful, you're worth it, you're this, you're that, and try and, you know, blah, 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 on and on and on about how great you are, are in a second, they will bang you down. Okay, they will pull you down. Okay, so you need to do it for you, Gemini. You do it for you. Okay, and go and watch the royal you. Because that, Gemini, is who you truly are. Okay, Gemini, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.